Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are shipping out my weekend sales. We are packing up everything that sold from Friday until Sunday. We had $792 in total sales and I had 27 items sell. And so that makes my average sales price $29 for the weekend, which I am happy with. That is a great average sales price considering my I would say general cost of goods are around that dollar to two dollar mark. So let's go ahead and get into it. We are going to first start off with an item that I found at Dollar Day. I was so excited to find this. This is like my ideal piece to pick up on Dollar Day. It's J. Crew Factory, but it's in a size 2X. It's a newer piece. It's from 2021. And it is just a tried and true closet staple black midi length dress in excellent condition, no signs of wear. So this is something that I am 100% confident will sell quickly and for a decent amount. And so, yeah, I am thrilled to find something like this on dollar day. I listed it for $30 and that same night of being listed, I received a $24 offer. I did counter that to 28 because I had listed it like an hour before. And so I wanted to try to stay a little bit closer to my list price. She did counter my $28 counter. She countered me back to 26, which I did go ahead and accept that. That made my earnings $20.80 and my profit right around 20 on this dress. So that's another thing that I love about picking up pieces at a very low cost is that I do have more wiggle room with offers. I can get stuff sold really quickly, just in and out the door. And I hope the buyer loves it. This is such a nice minimalist item that you can wear, dress it up, dress it down. Really great addition to your closet, I would say. Okay, now we have a little two-piece set that I have had for, I would say about six to nine months now. This was recently relisted. The brand is Airpostle and it's a linen blend two-piece beachy set. You have the little crop top and then the high-waisted shorts with a striped print. I believe these are all natural materials like cotton linen blend. And I did grab this set for myself originally, but it ended up being too small. So I just ended up listing it for $26 and someone liked it. So after my Posture VA relisted the set, someone liked it and my Posture VA sent them out an offer, a $23 offer with discount ship, which was accepted, making my earnings $15.42. I paid $4 for the set and so my profit was around $11. So making an $11 profit on something that I picked up for myself and then didn't end up wearing. I'm thrilled with that. That's one of my favorite things about being a reseller. And yeah, this is really cute though. I might have picked this up. I probably would have picked this up at the bins just because it is higher quality materials and you can add a lot of keywords into that. Beachy, boho, festival. Okay, moving right along, we have a dress that I got at the bins. This is by the brand Unique Vintage, which I would say is a bolo brand, but you might want to check comps on the specific piece. This dress in particular, I'll add in a stock photo of how it's supposed to be worn, but you're supposed to wear like a shirt underneath it. So it's kind of an interesting cut, the neckline. Um, isn't your traditional neckline and so I think that is why this dress has sat for quite a while otherwise I think it would have sold really quickly uh, because I have sold this brand in the past and because this style of dress does sell very well the mod retro pinup rockabilly style dress those are all keywords that you do want to add into any listing that has um, a style like this rockabilly retro pinup. Uh, is there one more? But yeah, anyways, so 
I have had this dress for, I would say again, maybe like six to nine months. And I do think that it has been recently relisted. I had it listed at 38. Someone offered me 20. I went ahead and accepted that because it has been sitting and I did get this at the bins. So I was ready to move it out. My earnings were 16 and my profit was around 14. So yeah, I hope the buyer likes this. It is really cool. I think if you can find the right undershirt, it would be a really cool like Joan from Mad Men outfit. Okay, now we have a two piece bundle. Our first piece, this sold so quickly. It's Nick and Zoe. This ombre print speckled zip up cardigan jacket. So if you watched my ship with me video, I kept finding this Nick and Zoe brand at the Family Thrift Center outlet. I found probably like five to seven pieces throughout the whole video. And I was a little on the fence about what I should pick up. I'm so glad I got this piece because it did sell the same day that I listed it. A couple people were interested in it. And I think that is because it is a little bit more substantial being a jacket and it does have the cute ombre print. And you know, the seasonality is good. It is a nice transitional weather piece. But I did end up leaving other items from the brand like a, um, I think it was just like a rayon blend sleeveless tank blouse just because that's not as substantial as this piece. I did get a green linen size extra large cardigan, which um, has not sold yet, but it does have some interest. The second piece in this bundle is this tie-dye pink Floyd sweatshirt, which also sold very quickly within just a day or two of being listed. Um, but yeah, going back to Nick and Zoe, I still am going to experiment th with the brand. I slowed down on picking it up because I have a couple pieces that are sitting, but looking back at them, they are both petite sizes and they are smaller sizes. So I think I'm just gonna stick to larger sizes in more substantial pieces and i think that they should sell quickly the same way that that one did so yeah i love experimenting with brands and doing just kind of trial and error with reselling that's really all reselling is it's a bunch of trial and error and just fine tuning your uh brand database i would say that's honestly my favorite part about reselling. I mean, you know, the fashion and stuff is fun and all the trends, but I really like having to understand the market marketability with different items because I just think that's so interesting. Like what aspects make each piece more sellable kind of thing and really pinpointing those and, uh, using each lesson that you learn with each sale just using that when you're outsourcing in the future. So for these two pieces, the Nick and Zoe sweater and the Pink Floyd sweater, the bundle price came out to 68. I was offered 50. I did counter that to 60. And then, because in my mind, I wanted 40 for the Nick and Zoe and 20 for the Pink Floyd. She did counter me back to 58, which I went ahead and took. That made my earnings $46.40. I paid $4.25 for both pieces, and so my profit came out to $42 on that bundle, which I am happy with. Okay, now we have a really exciting four item bundle. I would say this is more of a luxury bundle, which we love. Our first piece is this Vince orange sweater that I grabbed at the bins in Austin. So I have had this for two to three-ish months now. It is the older tag from Vince, the thin gray tag, but I did still want to get this because this I don't think was ever worn. It has zero signs of wear, immaculate condition, and because it is 30% mercerized wool. I also do really like the silhouette. It's kind of a dolman oversized cut with the dropped shoulder. Very casual, chic, I would say. So yeah, the condition, material, and cut, I would say, kind of overrided the fact, overrode, overrided the fact that this was the older tag from Vince. I guess for the most part, I would say I do only pick up the newer tag from Vince, which I can add a picture in now. It's like 
a little bit of a wider white tag. The second piece is a 41 Hawthorne 100% cashmere open front long line maroon cardigan. And I picked this up from the bins also, but this came from Houston. So I probably paid like a dollar fifty, maybe two dollars for this one. And the Vince sweater was a dollar thirty. Next is this Ralph Lauren purple label loose knit cobalt blue. Did I say 100% linen uh, sweater? I just picked this up, so it sold really quickly. Same for the next item that I'll show you. It also sold quickly. And yeah, I was so excited to find Ralph Lauren Purple Label. It is a luxury label from Ralph Lauren. You definitely want to keep an eye out for it. It retails for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands. And lastly is this Ivan Grundle lag and look minimalist contemporary pencil skirt this did not have a size but i measured it and it did match up with being a size eight so i just said that in the listing this is another bolo brand really high-end contemporary brand i would say the retail price on this bundle was probably like anywhere from 1500 to two thousand dollars so yeah we have some really nice high-end great quality and material items in this bundle when everything was added together the bundle price came out to 255 dollars and i was offered 190. i did go ahead and accept that my earnings came out to 152. i paid right around seven for everything and so my profit was 145 dollars on this bundle so i was definitely happy with that the skirt and ralph lauren sweater like i said sold really quickly the 41 Hawthorne cardigan, I would say I've had for maybe four-ish months. And I believe the cardigan and the orange Vince sweater were recently relisted. So definitely relist your items. I have been relisting every day and I've been making at least one to two sales from older items because fresh eyes are being able to look at them with them being relisted. I do use Posture VA for that. I just press start and I type in that I want 45 items relisted and it does all the work. It goes in, copies all the pictures, descriptions, deletes the old listing and gets the new listings into, um, you know, the system. And so, yeah, I've been making a ton of sales by doing that. I do highly recommend Posture VA. I have a discount code. It's McKenzie 20. If you want to try it out, that does get you a free trial and then 20% off your first month. Could not run my business without it. It shares my closet for me multiple, multiple times per day again, which is the click of one button. So, um, yeah, I absolutely love Posture VA. Could not recommend it enough. Okay, next up we have another really fast seller here. This is a Talbot's Lamb's Wool Blend sweater with a textured gold star print to it. I was so excited to find this. Talbot's is a great consistent seller for me if certain factors are there. Like if it has, um, you know, a lot of sellable features to it, which I would definitely say this sweater qualifies for. It's a lamb's wool blend. It is a size large. The seasonality is great. This would be a phenomenal holiday sweater, which holidays are coming up and it looks unworn. So yeah, I could not have been happier to find this. I listed it at $38. It probably retailed right around a hundred and within, I think it was within the same day. It might've been the next day I was offered 29 which I accepted. My earnings came out to $23.20. I paid $2.25 for this, and so my profit was $21, which I, that's great. That's the bread and butter stuff that pays my bills, and um, I will forever pick up and keep an eye out for. Okay, now we have a three item bundle. Again, all items that sold really quickly. I picked these all up uh, I believe during my shopping trip that I filmed at the Family Thrift Center outlet. So first off is this Forever 21 jacket. I did grab this for myself just because I thought it was so cute. It is a free people dupe for the Jordan jacket. And so uh, yeah, the style is definitely there and it is decent quality. This is 100% cotton and it just feels really nice, really substantial 
feeling material and stuff like that will keep you warm I would say second piece is this Sigurd Olsen 100% linen button-down shirt so this was kind of experimental. I wasn't sure how well 100% linen was still going to sell, but these flew out of my closet. This shirt, as well as this Tahari 100% linen shirt. So I will continue to pick up 100% linen throughout fall and winter time and get it listed. This one is a size medium. And yeah, I was thinking these might sit for a little bit, but they sold within two days of being listed. So I just neatly fold them into the box. This is box number seven. This is like my bigger bundle box. And then I add a piece of paper on top and add my thank you sticker to that. And then go ahead and seal it up. So for these three items, the bundle price came out to $70 with 55 cents. That does include my automatic 15% off bundle discount of three items or more. And the buyer actually purchase the bundle at that price so that was awesome sometimes you know someone will bundle three or four items and see the automatic discounted price but then offer a little bit lower of a price usually but this buyer ended up just buying it at the automatic discount that made my earnings fifty six dollars and forty four cents I paid six dollars for everything and so my profit was fifty dollars on this bundle so yeah, super happy with that, especially because the Free People jacket I wasn't intending on reselling when I grabbed that. I hope she loves it. Those are all really nice pieces. And I think this will be our last piece before I break to eat lunch and run the first batch down to the post office. So this is a little girl's Zara dress. Another piece that I grabbed just the other day, sold within... A day or two it's a Zara little girl size 9 dress I am pretty particular with what kids clothing I will get just because it retails for less and it's you know there's not always a whole lot of room there for profit but something really cute like this that is a popular brand Zara Matilda Jane uh, Janie and Jack Minnie Bowden is a great kids brand I will for sure grab. I listed this at 18 and was very quickly offered 15. So I did accept that. My earnings were 12 and my profit was 10. So a quick $10 profit. We love it. Everything adds up. And when this is your full time job, you know, you, you want to see those sales. You want to see consistent sales. So I think I'm going to go ahead and break for lunch and I will see you guys back here in a little bit. Okay guys, we are back from the post office. I've eaten lunch, feeling better. Let's power through the rest of our weekend sales here. Next we have a pair of Lululemon leggings slash lounge pants. These are really nice. They're like a velour texture. They have the Lululemon logo on the waistband and back. And I source these from the bins probably like I would say six to nine months ago. And I did keep them for a little bit for myself, but I never wore them. I did not wear them once for whatever reason. And so I ended up listing them. And they did sit for a while even after I did get them listed for I would say another like three months or so. Um, they sat on Poshmark, but my Posher VA did recently relist these, like, just the other day, and they sold the same day that they were relisted. So, reiterating what I was saying earlier, um, I have been having so many supplementary sales from getting things relisted. You know, a lot of the stuff that I have been freshly listing has been selling fast, and then... The stuff that has been relisted, which is also considered fresh listings, they, a lot of those items are selling as well. So yeah, relisting really can help to supplement your daily sales. If you are wanting to up that number, I would highly suggest relisting. So I listed them at 57 or relisted them at 57. And then right after they were relisted, someone liked the listing. And so my Potter VA automatically sent them out a $51 offer with discounted shipping. 
And to that they countered 42, which I did go ahead and accept. Like I said, these have been sitting for a while. And honestly, Lululemon, I have seen, I think it's maybe just getting a little bit um, saturated on the secondhand market because I have definitely seen a decline in offer price as well as the amount of time it takes for stuff to sell. Like used to, I would, I would list something Lululemon brand and it would fly out of my closet, but now a lot of stuff has been sitting. So I did want to jump on that $42 counter offer. I accepted my earnings were $33.60 and my profit was around $32 on these leggings. So very happy to get those out the door. They are super cute and they're really comfy. I did try them on when I was thinking about keeping them and I do really like them, so I hope the buyer enjoys them. Next we have a three item bundle. I'm thinking I maybe should have built another box number seven for this, but we'll see if we can get this in a 1095 box. So first off is this pair of High Rise Banana Republic Wide Leg Full Length Trouser Pants in a powder blue color. These are so nice. They're a size 10 and they're from 2021. So a little bit newer, great size. These were unworn. I can pretty confidently say they have no signs of wear. They are a wool blend. So tons of sellable factors here. The seasonality is great going into fall time. These are such a nice fall and winter uh, pants, trouser pant for the office. Banana Republic and Taylor Mall brands, I do not shy away from their high quality career wear basics because you know they are so expensive retail and people know the brands and love them. I did find those at Dollar Day, so ecstatic to find those. Second piece is this blouse. I had never heard of the brand when I found it, Lauren Picasso, but the brand really didn't matter to me at all. I grabbed this based on the material and the cut. It is very lag and look, artsy, minimalist, contemporary, along with the, oh, you know what? I don't think it had any interior tags, or no, here's the tag. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, 100% linen, size medium. So the fact that it was linen and had this artsy cut, I had to grab this from the bins. I have had this listed for, I would say, three to four months. But again, this was relisted just the other day, and someone immediately put it into this bundle. And lastly, this tank sold within one or two days of listing it originally. This is also by Banana Republic. It's a size medium. I actually grabbed this tank for myself on $2 day. You would have seen it if you watched my shop with me video. But it's a size medium and with it being a muscle tank cut, the underarms were just a little too oversized for me. So I did go ahead and get it listed. I checked comps on it and there were none available, none currently available, and like around 15 to 20 of this same style of shirt had sold in the past. Not for much at all, like I would say around $8 to like $20 max. But just the fact that so many had sold, I did want to go ahead and get it listed. And it is 100% linen, so good material. I think a lot of people like the lucky number seven so it was a pretty I guess relatable universal graphic to the front I'm just going to grab my 1095 box here this is the box that I use to ship out bulkier bundles I do have a list of all of the boxes that I order from USPS in the description of this video if you are curious they are free, they come straight to your door. When the three of these items were added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to $81. I was offered 65. I did go ahead and accept that because the Banana Republic tank was, uh, you know, I didn't pick that up with the intention to resell. So I was happy with 65 for the other two items, basically meaning that my earnings were $52. I paid four for everything. And so my profit was around $48 on that bundle. Yeah, the Lauren Picasso shirt, the linen gray shirt, 
I probably paid like a dollar at the Goodwill Outlet. Banana Republic trousers were a dollar. And then the Banana Republic 7 shirt, I paid $2. So yeah, $4 in cost of goods. You can't beat it. I see that we just got an offer here on a two item bundle. Okay, so I will be accepting that. You're always on the clock when you are a reseller. I like to accept offers kind of quickly if um, I've had the piece for a while because I don't want them to cancel the offer. I want to go ahead and get it sold. But sometimes it is good to wait a little bit when someone sends you an offer if it's a piece that is really trendy or you just listed or it has a lot of likes, it's getting a lot of attention. Because if someone goes in and makes an offer on that piece, Poshmark will notify all of the people who have previously liked that listing and they will say, hey, you know, someone has liked this listing. If you, if you want this piece, you should act fast because it's about to sell. And a lot of the time, if it's, like I said, a really in-demand piece, someone will just go in and buy the piece because they're afraid of it selling, especially if it's unique, one of a kind, a vintage item that they won't be able to find again. So yeah, sometimes it's strategic to wait a little bit, but I did want to go ahead and get that sold because like I said, I have had those two items for a little bit. Okay, now we have this Soft Surroundings Blue Velvet Long Sleeve Blouse Top. This is a size 3X, and I found this on $2.25 day, so this is another really fast sale. I figured it would be just because anything in the brand Soft Surroundings that's a more substantial piece and um, a larger size, like extra large and up, sells very quickly for me. So with this being blue velvet going into holiday season, it's long sleeve, it's a little bit longer length, it offers some nice coverage. I was thinking this would sell quickly. I listed it at 38. This probably retails, I would guess for like 100 to 120 ish. Someone offered me 25 after maybe two days of being listed. I did counter that to 30 just because it was such a new listing and I this piece in my mind commands a little bit higher price that $30 mark and they did accept that so my earnings were 24 and my profit was right around $22 on this top so yeah really happy to get this in and out the door I do still love soft surroundings it is one of my favorite bread and butter brands sell so consistently for me. I can always count on it. Now we have Zara. So I ordered this from ThreadUp's online outlet a long time ago, maybe like a year, year and a half ago. It kind of has the uh, Lululemon's back in action top cut. If you're familiar with that, that's a very popular style of shirt from Lululemon. But anyways, this is a older tag chambray blouse from Zara that again I did order from ThreadUp their online outlet a long time ago. I used to source from their outlet and pay around five dollars per item which is a little bit more expensive than my typical cost of goods but the advantage was I could source while I was watching TV or at home just lounging and I like to multitask when I'm watching TV so uh, but yeah, Startup has since done away with their outlet, which I'm really upset about. I loved perusing it. But yeah, this is one of the stragglers. I probably have sold everything else that I ordered in that one order. But this is one of the ones that did not sell. It took forever to sell. Again, this was recently relisted and sold within just a couple days. So that goes to show you... Get your older items relisted. Get some fresh eyes on them. Even if they have 15 likes that have accumulated over months and months, those 15 people are not biting the bullet and sitting an offer or purchasing it. So, you know, I'm all for just forgetting about it, relisting it, and seeing if someone will swoop in and send you an offer. And that's what happened with this. I had it relisted at 26. Someone offered me 20. I gladly accepted that. My earnings were 16. I probably paid around $5 for this 
and my profit was around 11. So yeah, I'm really excited to move this out of my inventory and reinvest that $11 into some faster moving inventory. I do think that's a really nice practical uh, closet staple piece and I think the buyer will really like it. I think it was just a little bit plain is probably why it sat and because it is Zara's older tag. So I pretty much exclusively pick up their newer tag these days um, and I do see that they that those pieces move quicker. Okay, now we have a two item bundle. First off is this Lucky Brand dress. And like I was just saying, this is Lucky Brand's newer tag. I do actually pick up all Lucky Brand tags because some of the vintage stuff can sell better than the more modern tags. If you find like Asian printed embroidered sweatpants that are vintage from Lucky Brand, those can sell for 75, 100, sometimes over a hundred dollars. Even the little bit older Lucky tags sell sell also if it's like boho printed tops. But this I believe is their newest tag. So that was kind of exciting to find. I've never found this tag before. Um, and this is a boho printed long sleeve dress. This is a really nice transitional weather dress because it's long sleeve, but it is still relatively lightweight. I would say it's rayon, so very drapey. And I do love the print to this. So yeah, I grabbed this from the bins, I would say maybe like a month to a month and a half ago. I think I'm going to wrap these separately. Yeah, Lucky is another great bread and butter brand for me. And it is a brand where I would say I'm willing to pick up less substantial items. Like I'll pick up just t-shirts, basic v-neck t-shirts from Lucky Brand, which is pretty rare for me. Um, just because I don't like to sell less substantial pieces because they command, they do not command as much, like as much of a, as high, a very, they don't command a very high sales price, I would say. However, they are very consistent sellers and, you know, this is my full-time job. If, if I was doing this part-time, I probably would not pick up just the t-shirts and stuff, but you know, when you're paying your bills, this is your full-time job, you want those consistent sales. So I am willing to pick up Lucky Brand Basics. Okay, second and last piece in our bundle here is this H&M sweater. This obviously is a pretty plain sweater. However, I wanted to get it because it is a wool and mohair blend, which is a phenomenal fabric makeup that is a little bit more luxurious than you know, acrylic or polyester or anything like that. It's natural materials. And this did retail for quite a bit from H&M. I think their mohair blend sweaters can go for like 50 to $70 retail. So there definitely is still some room for profit there. I used to pick up these wool and mohair blend sweaters all the time at the bins a couple years ago but for whatever reason last year I didn't grab them when I saw them I don't I don't know why I think I was just thinking that I don't know but they always sold so well for me so I think I'm gonna go back to them this fall and winter because this one sold so fast and I mean they're great closet staples great basics I do like to have all price points in my closet, even though I am trying to stick to higher average sales price items. I do like to have, um, you know, some bread and butter mall brand items as well, just because, you know, I think people like to bundle different price point items. And I do like to have that variety there. And also kind of like I was just saying, I like pieces that I know will consistently sell for a certain amount. So the bundle price for these two came out to 65. I was offered 52, which I accepted. That made my earnings $41.60 and my profit was 38 on this bundle. Now we have another bundle of three items. Let's see, how do we want to, I think I'll wrap this one on its own. So first off is this Madewell sweater v-neck, another very fast seller here. I was ecstatic to find this on $2.25 day. 
It's a size extra, extra large. It is Madewell's coziest yarn material, which is a merino wool alpaca blend. And it was from fall 2020. I need to do an, an Amazon order for more supplies very soon because I do not like to wait until I'm actually out of something to order it because that is a nightmare when I have like a big shipping after a big shipping weekend kind of thing to show up and not have any paper, not have any tape. Complete nightmare. So yeah, I need to get on that. Okay, second piece in this bundle is this pair of Chico's leopard printed pants, like a an ankle trouser pant. So slimming girlfriend slim leg ankle in a size 16 regular. And these are, again, a newer piece from Chico's. I found these about six months ago at the bins. And I was actually excited to get these because of the print. Uh, they're newer. Chico's is a solid sell for, seller for me. And they are a great size. But they did sit for a little bit. I want to say these were recently relisted. I know this was relisted just the other day. I've had this for probably three to four months. It's Torrid size 2X. I think this sat though because I did list it in the dead of summertime and it is for sure more of a fall time top. But it's from 2022. So uh, newer piece, love the plaid, long sleeve. Torrid, I would say sizes two, I would say 1X to 3X sell so well for me, but anything like maybe 5X and above, or maybe 4X and above does tend to sit, and anything below 1X also sits. So I try to only pick up like 1X to 3X these days because that is what sells the fastest but I do like to have all sizes in my closet so if I see something that's really cute and in excellent condition I will pick it up no matter what size it is but I do think that there definitely is a window within Torrid that sells the fastest so when the three of these were added to a bundle you know what I might have to I might have to make a box number seven for this bundle. Let me see. I'll put that one first. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I can close it. You don't really want to overstuff your box, but as long as the, yeah, no, that's okay. I'm just going to add a little bit of tape to both sides. I might have to weigh this. But the bundle price for these three came out to 97 and I was offered 90 which was very exciting. That made, I did accept my earnings were 72 I paid 6 for everything and so my profit was $66 on this bundle. So yeah. Okay, a couple more sales here. We have this 360 cashmere star sweater it's like 97 percent cashmere and there is this silver metallic star textured print i guess you'd say it's like an insert 97 cashmere three percent other fibers this is a good brand 360 cashmere i found this on two dollars and 25 cent day at the family thrift center outlets like six plus months ago. It has sat, but once again, this was relisted just the other day and it sold immediately. I probably listed this in the summertime and so that's probably why it sat, but now that we are going into colder weather, this is the perfect time to get this relisted. So yeah, that is one reason that I love doing that this time of year or anytime the seasons change like going into summertime I relist a bunch of stuff and all of these summer stuff that I listed in fall time sells during that batch so 
Yeah, it's really great. I listed this sweater at 52 and I was offered 36, which I took. My earnings were $28.80 and my profit was around $26.50. So very happy to move that out. And lastly for today, we have this CMC or Color Me Cotton Made in USA size large cream blouse top. This is really pretty, great, basic. I do like selling this brand. They do a lot of like artsy cuts with this asymmetrical hem and also natural materials. This is 100% cotton. I definitely add in lag and look, minimalist, contemporary, artsy. If this had a really fun print, I would add in art to wear. These are great to wear with like leggings because they have a little bit of a longer length. So this one did have some very minor surface spots, which I did disclose, and I think they would just wash out, but I didn't want to take the time to wash it, so I listed it at 30, and when someone offered me 25, I went ahead and accepted that. My earnings were 20, and my profit was around 18 on this top. So yeah, that is absolutely everything for what I needed to ship out from my weekend sales. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.